At the heart of the evergreen, cool and warm western region lies Kakamega County, the Green Jewel. As the breadbasket of western region, the Ministry of Agriculture, Livestock, Cooperatives and Fisheries has implemented various flagship projects in Kakamega County. The county government has initiated a farm input subsidy program on the cost of fertilizer, seeds, and cost of land preparation. This has also been preceded by the One Cow Initiative that has magnanimously transformed into One Cow Passover. Kakamega County, the poverty level is 60%, which means six people out of 10 go without enough food. So the first thing was to make sure that how do we improve food productivity. We have, um, uh, we have started the fertilizer subsidy program. Uh, which we started two years ago, that, that project will continue. At the same time, we have also started subsidy of seeds, MS seeds, and also mechanization of our farms, providing tractors at, uh, at low prices, at subsidized prices. We have also uh, developed a livestock industry by providing dairy cows to the, uh, to the less privileged uh, in, the, in every county, sub-county ward. We have given 10 animals and we have also started giving poultry to the small groups to help them on poverty eradication and also for, for food. And we are now developing the hot culture uh, uh, sector within the agriculture sector. We have the planting fertilizer that we get and sell to the farmers at half price. We also get the, uh, the seed maize that we also sell to the farmers at half price. We also have the top dressing fertilizer that we also sell to the farmers at half price. This program has gone on very well and we intend to continue to help our, our farmers. Mimi ni mkulima wa One Cow Initiative. Nashukuru Mungu nilipewa hii huyu ngombe na governor wakati tulikuwa Bulanda. Na nimekaa na huyu ngombe miaka miwili. Na kwa sasa niko na furaha kwa sababu amenipatia mtoto dama nami siku ya leo nimepeana kwa mwingine. Kwa hivyo furaha yangu kuni ya kwamba eh ngombe ambaye nilepewa amenipa mtoto nami nimeweza kupatia mwingine siku ya leo. In Kakamega we have uh, over 150 cooperative organizations which are active. We have three categories where we have uh, circles. Circles uh, in full means uh, savings and credit cooperatives. We have another category of cooperatives called uh, marketing. Under marketing cooperatives, we have dairy. We have those that are dealing with dairy, others are dealing with coffee, others are dealing with hot culture in this county. Whether uh, savings and credit uh, cooperatives that is circles, or marketing cooperatives. As government, we come in to capacity build this organization. Kakamega is wide, even in terms of ecology. What we have done, and I'm happy that for the first time, this is the only county that has been able to map maize seed to the unique and specific ecologies, which we have categorized into sub-counties. One of our major flagship projects in the county is uh, the Kakamega County Farm Input Subsidy Program. Other than just giving the, the farm inputs, we've gone further this time round to ascertain the specific needs of our soils. And that's why when you look at our fertilizer formulation that we are giving farmers, is very specific to the needs of the soil in Kakamega because the soil is diverse and we've come up with the uh, uh, composite uh, formulations that can be able to address uh, the needs of the soil in the county. This is a big one, 50 kg, we have 1,900 kg, and we have to continue to continue. We have to continue to continue, and we have to continue to continue, and we have to continue to continue, and we have to continue to continue. Hata kulima, tulikuwa tunalima heka moja kwa pesa mingi sana. Hata mimi kama mkulima, nimewe kulima shamba langu, heka likuwa mbili, nikawa nimepeana tu shilinge elefuina peke yake. Nina shukuru. 
The main purpose of this uh, project for the county is to stabilize the prices of land preparations. Earlier on, before this project came into force, the service providers out there were actually exploiting farmers with the price of land preparations. An acre could go up to 4,500. But we are doing that one, that plowing on subsidy program, where we plow an acre for a farmer at 2,000 shillings per acre. We harrow for the farmer at 1,650 shillings per acre. You see, this is a moderate, this is a price that all our smallholder farmers can afford. As a key component of agriculture in Kakamega County, the ministry has commercialized poultry farming by distributing day-old chicks and training farmers on best practices. It has also subsidized the prices for acquisition of fingerlings and fish feeds in a move to cushion farmers from the high costs. Since inception of uh, devolution, this department has really been uplifted to reach out to the farmers in uh, various fields. In livestock production, the major flagship project is poultry production. So far, we've given 16,000 one-month-old chicks to farmers and benefited 40 groups, each group getting 400 birds. We, we have come up and organized the women groups so that we support them on, uh, uh, we give them uh, one day old chicks. We used to do that and most chicks used to die. So now we have come up with an improved program where we buy these chicks, give it to someone professional to rear them for two weeks to one month, and then from there farmers uh, pick them, and we have established that that way the survival rate is quite high. Hapa hivi nimesimama na huu mradi ambao tulilechewa baada ya kuenda katika mafunzo ya county ya Kakamega chinzi ya kuwafuga hawa kuku. Mnavyo waona wanapendeza sana, saizi wanakula. Tuliwapata hawa faranga wakiwa siku moja saa hizi kwa kuna mwezi mmoja tunashukuru hii serikali ya kaunti ya Kakamega kwa huu mradi umetusaidia sana sana wakati tutawauza tuseme wote tukiwauza ni shilingi eh, elfu sabini na hivyo ni faida kwa mkulima kama mimi hapa hawa vifaranga ni 2500 na wamefikisha mwezi mmoja kwa hivyo wanafaa wachukuliwe na the county wapewe wa distribute to other farmers to strengthen the county's livestock herd genetics and improve milk productivity the ministry has subsidized artificial insemination services in all the 12 sub counties in addition, it carries out regular disease control practices and vaccination against most common diseases. Tuna huu mradi wa artificial insemination. Tafadhali tumia huu mradi wa artificial insemination. Tukitaka tuanza kutoa maziwa. Na saa hizi tuna mpango tumeanza mpango huko very advanced. Kwa kwanza kuchenga factory ya maziwa. Tax force came up with a recommendation to start a breeding system where we improve the local breeds so that we can have better production for the dairy animals. We have had several examinations up to 42,757 and from those we believe several havers have been born. We are doing 1,400 inseminations per month. And this is aimed at improving the county herd genetics and eventually increase milk productivity within the county. Smart climate is one of the ways in which the ministry has embraced technology. This is in a move to increase productivity by building resilience to climate change risks.
It is in Matungu and Bukura areas that the county government has built smart farms to increase milk production in Kakamega County. Another program that we are also running is a program that we call Climate Smart. Oh, this is a program that is also funded by uh, the county government. Agriculture is the backbone of our economy. We are producing a lot of milk and uh, this milk has provided uh, employment to so many households. There are people who come, who have established dairies, they come here, buy the milk and go retail. In its capacity building initiatives, the ministry has offered grants to farmers and cooperatives in order to catapult value chain actors and funds to business actors. It is this move that has informed the construction of a tea factory in Shinyalu and a fish factory in Lurambi in line with the county integrated development plan. ASDSP phase 2 will have grants for the first time because uh, we, uh, ASDSP phase 1 did not have grants to farmers. We are having a grant component of eight, 5 million per year, which will be given to groups, youth groups and women groups. The HAFERS have created uh, employment for, for people who are earning something from this. And also we have neighboring farmers who are planting the napier grass and some fodders that we buy from them and at least they can earn a living. Tumefaidika sana na etisia bukura. Kwa sababu, tukilima hii mbe nyazi yetu, tunasupply bukura etisi. Na sofa kuna smart dairy, hapo ndo tunasupply nyazi. Na pia maziwa, tunanunua kutoka etisi. Na kutokana na hii kazi, sisi kama wakazi wa butere, especially mimi, nimefaidika sana. Nimemanage kusomesha watoto wangu hapa. I want to encourage the youths of this county, Kakamega County, to take agriculture seriously, kusababu it's through agriculture and kazi kama hii, ambayo county government inasaidia vijana wa county kujiinufasha na kujiimarisha kimaisha. Kupitia hii kazi, uh, sisi tumweza kupata skills from the county, like in Bukura, we are taught and trained on how to take care of the chicks and how to manage our business.